Hey guys and welcome to live Russian vocab. Today we will be talking about the usage of motion verbs in everyday life. Interestingly, we use these verbs more often than we think about it. And the good news is that normally those are colloquial expressions and we don't need to choose between ити and ходить because they use just one of these two verbs. Let's get started! I took three examples in singular that go with the verb идет. Какой фильм сейчас идет? What film is on now? So when talking about films or theater plays, we use the verb идет. Какой спектакль сейчас идет? Which play uh, is on now? The second example is синий цвет тебе идет. The blue color suits you. So when talking about colors or clothes in general or hairstyle, you may say это тебе идет using the dative case. Мне идет, тебе идет, ей идет. Это платье ей идет. This dress suits her. L you know, literally, it's like идет to whom. It's going, it suits to whom. That's why we use the dative case. And the third example is идет сильный дождь. It's raining heavily. So when talking about the weather, rain or snow, we say идет. For example, идет снег. It's snowing. These things are going from the sky. Pay your attention that these kind of examples can never be used with the verb ходить, just with the verb идти. The second group I took the words that will go with plural, идут. But these words can go with plural too, it's just to give you some examples, yeah? Дела. Как идут твои дела? How the things are going? It's like in English, the things are going. Yes, yeah, so for the question, как дела? You can answer as a joke, дела идут. How are the things? The things are going. That's how Russians do when they want to seem funny. Переговоры. Negotiations. Переговоры идут уже час. Negotiations are continuing for an hour already. These two words can go just with plural идут. Дела идут, переговоры идут. And never with ходят. But these two words can be used both with идут, идут and ходят. Let's look at them. Мои часы идут правильно. My watch is right. Часы is plural in Russian, that's why we say идут. So, my watch is working uh, right. Yeah, my watch is right. Uh, we use идут here because we are talking about an actual moment, about this process, yeah? Uh, let's compare with ходят right now. Эти часы давно не ходят. This watch is wrong since a long time. Yeah, it doesn't work since a long time. Here we mean doesn't work in general. That's why we use the verb ходить. Um, if you are familiar with the motion verbs, when we are talking about the general ability, we use the verb ходить. For example, ребенок еще не ходит. The baby doesn't walk yet. He can't walk yet. He's too small. And let's look at автобусы. Куда идут эти автобусы? Where are these buses going? Mm -hmm. We mean right now, where are they heading to? Compare with ночью автобусы не ходят. At night buses don't go. So at night they don't work at all. We don't mean one direction. We mean that they don't make these round trips. Yes, so logically we use ходят. And let's look at the word that is used 
just with the verb ходят. Слухи. It means rumors. So, ходят слухи, что он женился. There are rumors that he got married. Uh, you can think logically about it. Uh, why are they ходят and never идут? Because normally rumors go like this, like we never know the direction. It's like wandering around. And when we are wandering around, we use the verb ходить. So I hope it was helpful and we'll meet each other in live Russian vocab. I hope that you will use the motion verbs more often in your speech now. See you!